Hello and welcome to the second tutorial of Great Little War Game and today we're going to show you the All Out War campaign pack and this is the very first mission in the pack where we have a base set up on the right hand side of the screen here while the enemy is set up on the left with their walls and their artillery and our objective is to capture the enemy HQ in the far left corner of the screen which is pretty tough because there's a wall blocking us so we can't just run an engineer straight in to capture it we're gonna have to cause a bit of carnage here on their front doorstep so we've got some interesting terrain here dividing the two bases while we're quite close it's going to be quite difficult to reach them because we've only got two straight roads here uh, and some river blocking us in the very middle uh, and this impassable sea terrain you'll notice here We've also got um, some little hills that could be quite useful if we can get some snipers or artillery units of our own up on them. But we'll see how the enemy AI reacts to our movements and decide on the fly. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to decide that I'm going to try and get their barracks. I want their barracks because then I can create engineers from there much closer to their HQ. So it's going to be much, much easier for me if I can capture this barracks from them. So, but, but before we do that, we're going to have to eliminate some of these units here. So if I hold down on the artillery piece, I can see he's already got quite a potential firing range. And I'll do the same, the same with this recon tank, and he's, he's also going to uh, easily be within range of my units very quickly. So we need to send something towards them immediately to, uh, to, try, and, to try and budge these guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send a recon tank of my own because it's fairly cheap and fast uh, and he's going to go up front and absorb some of the damage and behind him I'm going to have uh, an artillery piece which uses up most of my money but I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident about this so I, I think as far as opening gambits go we're, we're pretty safe with this one so the enemy is seen we're charging down this road here and uh, it looks it looks like we're going to have a pretty tough battle uh, on our hands along this road so let's move this guy, let's put him right in their face and let's blow him up with an artillery which is always handy and I'm going to move the artillery out of the way slightly because I want uh, another recon tank shoved down there. Uh, I'm actually going to move the artillery back a bit. There are no men for him to attack immediately so I want to keep him out of danger. And so there are only men we could build. I think a bazooka man might come in handy. So let's, let's bring the bazooka man down and just give him a jeep. Let's give him a jeep to, to ride in. He's run out of movement points so I can't, I can't bundle him in the APC just yet. So let's see what the enemy does. He's built an engineer, so we'll have to probably have to defend from that. And uh, our tanks are duking it out a little bit. The artillery, not known for its anti-armor capabilities, but um, it, it obviously it just destroyed a um, low-powered recon tank there. So already we've got quite a few units bunching up here, so we're going to have to be a little bit careful about how we how we deal with this um, so I'm gonna bring the Jeep up close click on him again and here I can choose disembark instead of moves so that'll disembark the um, the bazooka man and he can only hit this so let's let's go ahead and hit that and with the fresh recon tank instead of completely killing this tank I'm just gonna kill well damage one of these one of these recon tanks instead and we'll bring the oops, bring the jeep back down here and shove another recon tank down there let's just send recon tanks down there and see what the enemy does So he's, he's congesting his base quite badly here, it's going to be quite tough for us to, to crack through it. I'm 
Okay, we've got an engineer coming down at us from this road, so let's send a grunt his way. And what this will always do is um, it'll also divert the enemy's attention from this one lane into the other one, because at the moment we're getting we're getting quite a lot of congestion here. So let's also send um, another grunt and let's send another bazooka man down to the bottom and the recon tank excels at getting rid of artillery so this will this will hurt the enemy's um, money flow quite a bit so we'll finish off this piece of artillery because it can still be quite damaging even at 25 percent and the enemy has some infantry out at the moment bazooka man's got quite a bit of range although he probably won't be able to get past our recon tanks so let's bring our own artillery here relatively safe and the APC back to pick up uh, the bazooka man. A handy tip uh, when the enemy has quite a few units is to click the X at the top right corner here and that just skips through the enemy's units, uh, the enemy's movements much faster Okay, so the the engineer is trying to make a break for it. Let's let's shut that down. Good job well done. And let's move our guys up. More to distract the enemy than anything else. And I'm happy with. Um, actually, no, that's a grenadier. So let's. I think the grenadier is more dangerous. So let's get rid of the, the grenadier there. And move this chat back. And I'm actually instead of sending a bazooka man against this this other bazooka man, I'm going to send um, nothing actually, because that's quite dangerous. He's probably very easily going to blow up these these tanks, so I might actually I might actually go ahead and do that. But I'll disembark him and I'll send. No, I'll save up some money. Let's see what the enemy can do here. Yeah, the, the APC took the bazooka man shot there, but there wasn't. I'd rather he do that than shoot the uh, the artillery piece. So now we'll move the artillery piece. I don't even have to move it. Just fire from there. And actually, it might be an idea to park this artillery piece at the top of this hill here, so let's leave him there. Clear some, clear some space here, and we'll try and eliminate this engineer. And we'll move these grunts up here. And this is actually showing a bit of vulnerability here. We could probably get an engineer to this factory, so let's move some more grunts up. just to keep the enemy busy and we'll also send an engineer up in a jeep because jeeps are cool and we'll send an engineer on foot just because and we've still got quite a bit of money so let's have a recon tank or two And that's looking pretty safe, so let's skip through the enemy's turn. It's a lot of carnage, but not much loss on our part, which is great. So let's move him up, make sure the engineer can't uh, move around, and do some damage to these tanks. Let's clear up some space here. Uh, they can shoot both tanks, so it doesn't matter too much what they do. So this guy's got a promotion, which is handy. It's giving him a bit more damage. So, again, let's just kill some of these engineers off. And we're also blocking them from advancing a little bit here, which is always very useful. Uh, ad 
advance our little convoy up here. Try and get the artillery piece up high, and he's got an outstanding range at um, at that height. It's very nice. So we'll use him to get rid of this engineer. And I also want to send another couple of engineers just to be sure here. Let's let's be sure that we take this. So we'll grab a couple of jeeps again. Always run out of space. Yeah, these these run out of movement, so we can't do that. And I'll just double check some people. Happy with that? Let's move on. Taking some casualties, it's always to be expected. But we might be able to start capturing this um, this factory now, which would be really handy. So let's make some space for them. Um, yeah, let's move him in here. It's a shame that engineer might not be able to make it. We'll disembark him there. Yeah, we'll just move them up. As so, we'll start capturing the factory. The factory takes a couple of turns, so we've started it and we'll eliminate this engineer because what this engineer could do is he could capture it back again. So he's the priority for us. And I want to get rid of this bazooka man as well because he could damage he could damage the recon tanks and the APC, which I want I want to keep. And the artillery can take out this guy, clear up some space. There's no armor for this guy to hit, but we can just inch him over there to block the enemy a bit more. And let's just take some pot shots here, and bring there bring their combat efficiency down. So as a unit's health goes down, um, he becomes less damaging. So if he shoots at the engineer it'll do it'll do less damage to him. And let's get these guys on board. Embark up and move the APCs forward. That's looking good. And let's move we've got enough money so let's move a sniper up along with another grunt. That's used up our money there. Skip the turn. Oh, the the enemies managed to crank out an artillery piece. That's very dangerous. So it, it looks like the Reds have pulled one out of the bag here. So we're going to need a lot more anti-armor than originally anticipated. Um, we've got a bazooka man down here. We're going to have to clear space for him. So let's eliminate this man. Now our bazooka man can move up and he can't quite reach the artillery piece which is a real shame but we'll have a crack at this tank here. And the recon tank can't quite damage that pe the artillery piece enough which is a real shame. Uh, and also, we are <laughs> we're blocked from capturing the barracks, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna drop these engineers off. And move all these other fellas up. And let's see who can still shoot, so he can damage him. move up a bit. We want to try and block the enemy in here. This this map is very much about blocking blocking the enemy and stopping him from producing more units. And we need more anti-tank so I'll actually move the grunt up this lane and bring a few bazooka men up here. The artillery piece is running out of ammo, so we'll build a supply truck. Send that up to him. He's got oh, he's got no no ammo at all. That was very short-sighted of me. Never, never mind. Uh, oh, I can block them there and skip the turn. 
So while this map looks like it could be very small and short, you actually need to use some fairly advanced tactics to to stop the enemy from overproducing units by blocking them in with uh, with cheap units of your own. So let's move the sniper in, move the bazooka men up. Let's see if we can possibly destroy that tank to get the engineer in, which would be nice. Just out of range. That's a real shame. It might, even, it might even be worth using some grunts here to destroy this recon tank. And the engineer can sneak in and capture the factory. Now, uh, thanks to how the game works, um, in the next turn, if we build something on this pad, uh, it'll be destroyed, I believe. So. Let's clear out some more units here. So we've com we've stopped the the enemy building uh, armor, but we're still going to need these bazooka men to eliminate these few tanks that have been left. Um, use the sniper to shoot the only thing that he can. Remember. The engineer, that's a shame. And I'm tempted to put the engineer in a jeep, but then this bazooka man will probably blow up the jeep so I'm not going to do that. But what I can do is try and block block the enemy in there so he can't build any more units, which is always handy. Or might use the undo button there. Move the... yeah, I'll move the APCs up just to block them. And bring the grunt up. Resupply the artillery, although he's probably going to be a little bit not very great there, so let's undo that move and, and bring the artillery down. Not down to the beach. No. That's what we need to do. So if the worst comes to the worst, we'll have an artillery piece here to uh, to back us up, and just in case, we'll send a few more engineers down. Maybe another bazooka man, just in case. And skip the turn. So we're taking quite a bit of fire here, but we do have a factory um, up in their base. You see we, he lost the jeep that was parked on the supply pad because it now belongs to us. And we can now build um, units here, which is fantastic. So let's build a recon tank to start taking, uh, taking out this artillery piece. Bring the bazooka man up, we can do the same. And start moving our men up and let's eliminate these fellas so we're probably gonna lose this engineer now because he stood on he stood on the spot the spawning spot So we're gonna need we're gonna need these engineers after all. But we can build a jeep to get them up there faster. So he might be able to get in range for the next one and we'll give the other guy a jeep as well, just because we're nice. And I don't think we'll need the artillery piece, so we don't we don't want the artillery piece to block to block the trucks, so we'll just inch them a little bit closer. And move him out of the way. And you can't build anything else out of use. Check everyone is shot. I'm not going to bother shooting him with the grunt. He'll probably do more damage to the grunt than the grunt will to him. So let's skip the turn. So we lost the engineer there. Never mind. But it was worth it because it stopped the enemy from producing stuff. So let's get these guys out of the way. And finish capturing the barracks. Job well done. And that's great. Now all we need to do is crack open this wall. So let's build a bazooka man. And finish the wall off there. And 
<laughs> we can't move these guys out of the way uh, for an engineer, which is a shame. But we'll build we'll build an engineer anyway. Uh, move this guy up as well. And finish off this tank. And skip the turn, it'll be very brief because the enemy can't actually build anything because we played it safe and captured both of, the, both of his buildings. Uh, let's move these guys out of the way. Start capturing the HQ. And because we've totally dominated the map, the enemy can't do anything. And on the second turn, we capture the HQ. Jobs are good. Enough. And we've completed the map. So even though it looked a little bit daunting at the start with the enemy clogging his base with lots of units, uh, we used our own cheap units to, to block um, the space for him. So he could only produce so many units uh, and our cheap units absorb the fire. Uh, we used some more expensive units like the artillery and the sniper to um, get a bit of an edge. Uh, and we were just cautious. So instead of charging an engineer in their head first, um, we we, we picked the enemy apart piece by piece uh, and captured his buildings slowly. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, there will be more. Uh, games, great little war game by the way. Game for the iPhone uh, and iPad devices. Check it out if you haven't already. Uh, and we'll see you next time.